Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel, we have Galatians 6 2. Bear ye one another's burdens and so fulfill the laws of Christ. So, um, there's some things going on in my personal life, and I'm just kind of uh, letting some other people help me kind of with strength in that. So, I'll get into that later. So, all right, it is two weeks before Christmas. Um, and it's actually like 10 days before Christmas. I have finished all of RJ stuff. Unfortunately, I've wrapped it and got it under the tree. Um, I ended up just doing for my son-in-law and my son, I ended up just doing blankets and I used the extra to make just some dog beds for the dogs. It's that fleece hugs. And I'm telling you, this stuff is warm just to put it across your lap. It is polyester, but it's super soft too. So I am pretty sure they're going to like their blankets. Unfortunately, I didn't get any pictures. So yeah, you have to make do with the dog bed. I have used up all of that yarn and those two are gone. Um, then I, uh, let's see, what else did I do? Um, I think that's all really for Christmas, I did get I have one last thing to finish up for Christmas, and I'll show you. Um, I did start, and I know you guys have seen this before. I did the little slippers, and I decided I liked them. So I think I'm going to, either this is the pattern I'm going to do for next year for my work associates, because I have to do like 15 of them. But I tried a hat, and I'm not liking the way it came out. I have some hat patterns that I'm going to go back and look at. I like the beret style. And so um, I have done this hat and then I've ripped out and then I've done this hat and ripped out. So yeah, it's kind of in the middle of a frog because I'm not sure that I like it, but I do have some other patterns in my one book that I think I've used one before and I think it's that pink one in there. I'll show you next week. This is just going to be short because um, I really haven't started anything. My goal by the end of the year is to have that decided whether I was going to frog the hat, make the hat, whatever. Um, then I still have this shawl on the hook and I plan on getting it done so that I can block it. It looks all funky, but when you pull it out and block it, it's really cute. Um, it's more of an eggplant color. And then, and I've only got this much left to go, so I'm good. It, I've been working on it, and I plan on getting that one, and there's one other one I want to get done and off the hook before the new year. So for the next two weeks, I'm going to be working on this one and this next one that I'm showing you. Um, it is this one, which is a cute pattern. I just haven't had time to really work on it. I picked it up the other night. I think I did one row and I'm older. My eyes, you know, tend to not be so great and I struggle sometimes in the evening. And since that's when I crochet, um, my eyes are tired, my contacts, uh, just lighting, not enough lighting. So this is one that I will finish. I have this much done and I have this much to go. So um, I plan on getting this one done as well by the new year. What I'm going to use them for, I don't know. Um, the This one will probably go into next year's Christmas tote. My Christmas tote is empty. Um, I've got I think one scarf in there that I can remember and it's the red one and then uh, I think that's it I think I just have that one scarf in there um, I have a couple of extra bags that I sewed that are in there that I keep around all the time uh, I think that's it I, I really think that's it so these two are my main goals and priorities after I finish this one thing that I show you um, and then of course I have the geo and this will sit I am not gonna frog it I am gonna finish it it's just in timeout and I don't know it'll be probably sitting in timeout going into the new year so that one I'm not worried about 
that there is one project that I've got to get done and I started working on it but I keep almost getting caught because I don't have oops, sorry I had to find my needle I don't have time um, and, and I'll tell you why I'm running out and why this one this is short but all I have to do is weave in the ends and if you look I have one side completely wove in it looks good except I've got one tail down here but then I've still got this side to do and I'm gonna work on doing it um, and there's only like one two three four five five tails to work in but then I have to put the buttons on it so I still have the buttons and that and then this Christmas present will be complete I know that looks blue but it's actually uh, brown and gray and or brown and gray it's green and grays so um, kind of I don't know somebody said it looked camo but it wasn't meant to it's meant to hide dirt so that's the colors but I have this one and I'm gonna get it done and wrapped today that is my goal I don't have um, as much time today as I would want I had to run some errands uh, and I only have one day off and I'm trying to keep my Sundays clear So I'm going to get the one done, the, the roommate Christmas gift done and wrapped. Then I have two I want to finish by the new year. I've got one that will sit in timeout going into the new year. Um, this one I'm going to frog and I wanted to make a hat. I might make a hat and a scarf just for me out of this. But you know me, I also had this that I had purchased when I got the extra um, hugs fleece and I did start it but I am toying with making myself a virus shawl or I am going to just do what I used to and I used to do this about I did the last one about two years ago I go through my stitch book um, I know I've showed it on here before uh, it was my grandma's I, it's a printed book she got it somewhere and I've never looked for one or anything but she uh, used to just pick stitches that looked pretty and she'd make stuff and I've done that with a shawl and believe it or not I have pictures of ones I've done that's just stitch 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 put them together there's no written pattern my grandma just calls it free handing I don't know she just you freehand it that means there's no pattern you just did it pick a stitch and do it well I actually was gonna start with this one and freehand something for myself maybe I don't know but again see all this has been <laughs> crocheted with and then ripped out and then crocheted with and ripped out I want it to be a simple pattern this one I am not worried about and it's a new year project okay I've got to get those others done the three that are in the bags and this one um, I'm probably just gonna sit here and frog that instead of, I was gonna try and weave in those ends while I talked but as you can tell things are not going as well as I thought they would so I'm gonna sit here and frog this and then this can be put away and I'll figure out what to do with it later um, and it's a cute yarn it's cotton it's euro baby it's you know and I like the blue um, but anyway I uh, do have some other things going on but that is pretty much I have some stuff on the wheel I'm going to I think um, cancel my Mary Maxim now I still have December's coming but I'm going to call them and tell them as of January 1, I no longer wish to receive that. Um, it has opened my eyes. It did. I've had it for a year now. Well, I think a little over a year, to be honest with you. But it has opened my eyes to other acrylics. And I no longer just walk past the acrylic um, department in Walmart or Hobby Lobby or whatever but I want to focus next year these are my next year's goals that I've been thinking about I want to focus and get all the fiber 
<laughs> that's a big if, you know. I want to get fiber done. I've got two fleeces right now that I'm working on. And they're a spin in the grease. And I also have some wool that I ordered a couple of years ago. Well, no, it was the middle of this year, I think. I think it was the middle of this year. Um, a girlfriend said, hey, you need to try this. And I needed the um, wool for that sweater. And so you can see all the fluff. <laughs> That's fluff floating in front of the camera because I'm, yeah, I'm stirring stuff up. Um, so I think next year, and it's not um, that I don't want to do as much crocheting. I want to spend the first six months of the year getting stuff done in the fiber area. So I will have things to put in the pots and all that stuff. And I'm still going to do Christmas my way. So that means I will still be crocheting and uh, spinning. This year I did, like I said, I don't, things have changed a little bit and my time is not what it used to be. And so uh, I did use all, I, almost all acrylics. I bought, I, when I first started Christmas, I had bought some wool yarn and I made RJ's girlfriend her Christmas present. Well, then I thought, oh, I want to do them all in wool. And I started my roommate a farm to sweater thing, which is a sweater I still have to put the buttons on and weave the ends in. And I dyed it and I did all of that. Well, this year, I want to try, or next year, I guess. This year, I ended up using all acrylic. I joined Mary Maxim, and they gave me some wonderful yarns. Um, I have some patterns that I still haven't used. Um, not that I didn't like them, not that I didn't want to. I just had other things and had other ideas, and I got my Christmas done. That's what it boils down to. So, uh, I do have, I think, two two and a half to three pounds of already washed and processed wool I need to spin and then I'm going to start dyeing it up but I want to get it all spun first and then I want to dye it up in lots so that I have enough to make um, a sweater I now know that I need to do it in at least a half a pound depending on the size of the person I might need three quarters of a pound um, so I'm going to try and do those things more in this next coming year. Um, I also have been doing some sewing and I might incorporate some of those things in. Uh, right now I'm just doing small pack uh, projects. You know, I did Christmas headbands. I did bags for everyone. I did all kinds of little sewing projects. And this year, I got a gift. The reason that I want to get back to that is I got a gift from a girlfriend. And she told me up front that she'd gotten it for free and that she thought of me and thought that I would like to try it. So, um, and Gloria Jane, she's the one that I went to the thing with. We have made a pack that we're going to try and get together a little bit more. So, <laughs> yeah, in this new year. Um, so we're going to try and do that, but she has had a membership, I guess, to Craftsy, um, and she actually adored it. She's like, I, I've learned a lot, you know, there's, there's a free account, there's a, a paid for account, and then there's a pre, uh, premium account. Anyway, when she called, she'd had it a year. And she says, you know, just not using it as much anymore. When she first got it, she used it a lot. So she says, I'm going to save some money. And I and she called to cancel it. Well, they offered her a discounted rate. Plus, she could invite three friends for free and give them a year, um, what do you call it? A year membership. So, of course, I'm getting all the ads. Update to premium. Update to premium. I'm not. I'm just exploring it right now. But if I find something on there that 
really intrigues me, I will let you guys know. There's, I've just been going through the videos and the courses and there, there is, there's courses. It's not just, you know, a YouTube video showing you how to do a certain stitch or showing you how to do this or that. This is a course on how to do this. And then, uh, I can download it and save it even if I don't, um, what do you call it? Even if I don't, um, continue with a subscription, so I'll still have access to it. And I'm thinking, hmm, but there's everything from cooking to gardening to whatever. If you've ever looked at Craftsy, um, you'll know what I'm talking about, but I'm going to give it a try. And so those things I'm thinking I'm going to incorporate into the podcast and I did last year totally, you know, reviewing Mary Maxim and those kits, which were great. I loved them and they did open my eyes to some acrylics that I wouldn't have ever bought. And then, of course, it there was a few that I told you guys I will never buy this. You know, just not my thing. Um, so, and again, like that fleece, I never would have bought that fleece hugs. Never, ever. And then I ended up buying one and making two gifts out of it. So I'm okay with that. <laughs> I really am. And I have some quick workup patterns that come with those that I can use for other yarn. I can go get other yarn and make them. So the Mary Maxim thing served its purpose, but I am going to cancel it. And uh, effective January 1, I'm going to check out Craftsy. Um, and see what I can learn there and see how interesting it is. It may bomb, it may not. Um, Jane has found some stuff that she really likes on there. My problem is time and that's going to lead us, you know, those are my goals and it's going to lead us right into RJ's world and my world and the farm, in the farmhouse and I'm just going to put it all together. Um, RJ's just been busy riding horses uh, doing his truck broke down again. He ended up here at the house and we had to change a reservoir out and it was just the over, I guess those reservoirs for your radiator are plastic, the overflow one. Well, when it gets a crack, it won't hold water. So it made the truck start to overheat. Uh, he went and got one and got it put in and he's fine. He was down here last night, had dinner with me. I just ordered Sonic. Is that bad? Have your kid over for dinner and just order Sonic. Um, well, he had to drop a paper. He had to drop a paper off for me to sign, which I just signed and sent it back with him. And then he had to pick up a paper that got sent to my email address, and he needed it printed out. So I printed it out. And anyway, we had other reasons, but we had Sonic together. <laughs> I was lazy. <laughs> I told him I said next time I'll plan better and have better food. He just laughed. So he was here probably till about 10 o'clock last night. Um, didn't get here till 7. Spent about 3 hours with me and that. So, um, yeah, we're good with that. But anyway, so in my world, I have been working. And I've been working at the uh, vet's office. And the vet office that I work for is technically a chain or an industry, whatever. So there's another office down in Tulsa and they've been shorthanded and I have been filling in there. And sometimes when you're the outside person, people aren't the nicest and they can say things that are inappropriate or rude or offensive and they don't think they're being offensive, they're just making conversation. The things that were said to me the first night that I worked a shift there were ridiculous. Um, we need to get, I'm not one that you have to be politically correct, okay? I'm a white girl. I am whatever. Now, don't make it derogatory, okay? That's it. I have friends who are African American. I sometimes refer to them as colored or black. They they get it. It's the time that we grew up in. I never do it in an offensive way. And I always apologize if I use the wrong wording. Um, a lot of my friends, Richard and them, they just laugh at me. Eh, blow her off. <laughs> I'm a creature I have it and it's hard to change. And But immediately, if I think I've used the wrong word, I if I worded that wrong, I apologize. 
Okay, so I'm not one that is up on all the political correctness. But I am also one that you don't gossip to me about the people that are in my office. You don't. I, I have to work with them. Um, and I actually like them. And I like working with them. And I don't need all this other stuff that happened. I don't know. I think they said it was like, they said a few years back, but it's been like 12 years. So that's not a few years back. The past is the past. Let it go. You don't need to, I didn't even know that person then. Don't care what went on. You don't need to be, that's just not appropriate office talk. Um, and then they griped because I followed policy for VCA and apparently that's not their policy. And I just looked at them and flat out said that I followed VCA policy and I stand behind what I did 100%. That kind of shut them down and they went about their way but it created tension i go back tonight from 4 to 8 30 and yes i'm helping them out but if they keep it up um i've already talked to my direct boss and let her know what was going on and what all was said and the topics that were covered and how inappropriate i felt it was um she is not in that office and she can't control those people but if it gets to be a regular issue and this is what I told her I said at that point I will call you and say it's time for you to get involved and we need to call the district supervisor she said okay she said, just call me before you call him so that you follow chain of command and I said you bet because I'm not playing I mean she's not the boss over that office she can go in and say something because she is a branch manager and she holds that uh, position but you have to go through that branch manager and the branch manager for that new for that branch that I'm covering I haven't even met her nothing I know her name that's it so I'm not you know one to play around and and I don't like disrespect you don't have to be perfect with your words because y'all know I struggle with words every day and I don't expect you to be perfect but you need to acknowledge that you're not perfect with them and if you make a mistake back it up and say hey sorry I must have worded that wrong okay I get that I'll give you the the benefit of the doubt on that but to come out right and just come at me mm, no that's not not appropriate so anyway I am still helping down there we'll see how it goes tonight it may not last long <laughs> I've been down there one shift and already they have three strikes against them in my book um, there was three things that happened that I felt were inappropriate my boss knows about them and I was like mm, that's not gonna happen again or I'm going to call you she said okay she's really good and she says we don't want you to leave anyway <laughs> she's like they'll try to poach you and put you down there I said no they're not gonna poach me I said I'll help out it's Christmas time we all could use extra money and here's the truth if I am helping at another clinic the other girls up front are getting more hours at our clinic for less money I mean so there's no overtime the overtime is being charged and I get the overtime that's great they get to keep their 80 hours every two weeks because I'm gone and they're covering a few hours that I duck out here and there so instead of getting 32 hours or 36 hours they can bump it up and almost get right at 40 hours and they love that they're like oh a little extra um, but I get the overtime at the other clinic so the other clinic has to pay me a higher wage so yeah it, it is what it is but it helps everyone in the office and I don't mind doing it I don't have kids at home I don't have you know uh, I have a roommate here but we're not scared to eat by ourselves and we're not joined at the hip and oh I have to sneeze oh <laughs> I'm sorry all those fuzzies are still flying around Anyway, and I'm in the kitchen because it is a drismal day and the front room just doesn't look bright and sunny. <laughs> I didn't like the way the lighting looked. So I thought I'd come in here and you guys have seen this before. So, you know. Um, now, all that being said, there has been some things done here um, in this house. Uh, we've been working. I put out Christmas lights. Um, I just did the fence, the front fence, 
and then tied it into, we found an old little Santa that lights up, plugged that into it and run a cord to it. And then I have that little thing that we, that RJ doesn't use anymore and it's one of those slideshow things and I have snow that looks like it's going across the front of the house. That's all I have. Um, but I did do it today. I, I put up the lights along the fence. It's literally three strands of lights and plugs into the Santa. <laughs> And then that plugs into the extension cord. Yay! And then there's the other little mobile thing. So, yeah, we're good with that. <laughs> so I did that. But, um, so we have been in this house a year. Um, I, it doesn't seem like that long. But, oh, sorry. But we have been. And last year, Thanksgiving, our Christmas present, neither one is really need anything. So we don't, we don't really exchange gifts. I'm making that just because um, last year the house needed a new package unit for central heat and air. And then it, we put in a wood burning stove. So that we could have heat and cut our electric bill. Our electric bill, knock on wood, is still at $100 a month. We can afford that. Um, the wood, I got some, I picked some up here and there and people that are just trying to get rid of. We don't need it to be pretty chunks because that wood burning stove is huge opening. So the old odd chunks that I can pick up cheap, we throw in there and they last all night. So yeah, we did that. So this year, the house is old, it has good siding, but the windows and doors are kind of shot. You guys can hear the the traffic outside or whatever. Um, so the back door was sticking, the storm door like blew off, um, the wind it wouldn't latch, and then when it would latch, you couldn't get through it. Um, so. The old back door was one of those that had the slots and then it had the big picture window there or the big piece of glass. Well, that glass had gotten cracked and it was duct taped and gorilla taped and held in place. And we had last year tried to cover some of it and I ended up putting up just a blanket over that whole door and not using it. Well, this year um, we just a week ago and I had to work, so roommate did, called a friend and said, hey, we need to get this done. They put in a new back door. Um, it is amazing. It does not leak so much. You wouldn't think that a back door, and we have another, so the back door is off of a little like, I wanna say patio, but it's not really a patio. It's like an, a washroom, it, it, like an old mud room. There's some, the words. It has a coat closet at one end and the washer and dryer at the other end. And there's a door between the washer and dryer so you can actually pull it and just have. So it's an old back door mud room. And it's got a concrete slab there and they've put carpet over it and it's got a window there. And then there's a cabinet and a big wood rack. And you would be amazed, number one, the sound that you don't hear um, from outside in there and it just sounds muffled like insulated and then the draft that you don't get because the whole door was drafty and then the glass being broke of course made it drafty so those two things are well worth it um, it's got new trim and all that stuff and it fit in like a glove. We came like close to messing up the measurements, but that's okay. We got it. <laughs> um, so yeah, it looks amazing and it did amazing. So um, if I can find those pictures, I will pop them in right here. Okay, so if you didn't see any pictures, that means I couldn't get them in. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. I think they're on my phone and did the computer sync to the phone. Anyway, so um, yeah, we got that done and that's amazing. Small steps, small steps. The only thing I've left to do in the kitchen is paint the ceiling. I have done everything else and then we've got to put up the trim here in the dining room still. Um, I got some of it up. I just have 
around the door frames and the base left to do. But that runs into money and I'm we're going to have to go and, and buy the trim. So uh, once we get that bought, it's just literally trimming out two doors and then the three base board. Oh, and we need the corner pieces because those broke taking them down. So not very expensive, but when you're working on a house, it all adds up. And this is something we can do in the winter. It didn't have to be done in the summer. The door needed to be done worse. But with that door and then the wood burning stove, it got hot in here the other night. <laughs> I was like, oh, and roommate goes, yeah, remember, we can't turn that down. <laughs> and so we were laughing. It's like, yeah, I can't exactly turn that down. But hey, we got heat. So we're nice and toasty warm. Um, other than that, these next couple of weeks, I'm going to be working on Christmas cookies and these two um, things, the shawl and, and the other little thing here and getting those done. I'm going to get the roommate sweater done today. I want it done today and in the box and under the tree. Um, and then I will just be crocheting on these two. I've already frogged that. I'm going to put that away for possible next year. Um, the shawl, I'm just playing with that. And it's just when I can't work on this one. But I'm, I'll be working on this one to get it done. And then the geo is the only one that will be on hold over the new year. So we're hoping. We'll, we'll see what I can get done. And then um, January 1, I'm going to try and do more spinning not gonna, I'm not gonna say that it happened I'm not saying it's my new year's resolution it is my personal goal to get some of those done and so while last year unintentionally last year was trying new yarns every month this month this next year every month I want some spinning done and I want to get some fleeces done and get some things going in the spinning department um, I do have my walking wheel here and both of my other, uh, I've got the little Wrangler, Wrangler and Miss Kitty here. So there's no reason I can't spin. And I have all my pots for dyeing here. I have my dyes. I have everything. So I am going to make it a fibery um, spinning type of um, year. I will stop at six months. And I want to crochet some things for Christmas. I don't know what I'm going to make for everybody, but I'm going to start working on that now. So, um, hopefully the spinning will be what I make for everyone. Um, of course, I'm giving yarn, but <laughs> you know what I mean. So, hopefully it'll all tie together. Um, things are going really good except for the other clinic. And I'm hoping that, that is just getting used to a new person pains so all right I'm gonna get off here I know it's not very long I know I've yacked a lot I know you haven't really seen a lot of crochet next week I hope to be able to come on and just do a short this is what I finished kind of thing um if I have anything new it will be playing with this because I just can't resist I love this <laughs> sorry um but just so you know if you're missing podcasts and, and I do have some um people that watch every week if you're missing some it's okay I'm not offended I know everybody's got a schedule just know that I'm trying to do that Christmas schedule too so I'm gonna get off here get this uploaded you're up to date and hopefully um, if I get to do another podcast before Christmas it'll just be those things but if I don't Merry Christmas you guys um, I pray that your Christmas knows and understands the true meaning of what the season is about. And I pray that good vibes, good prayers, blessings, whatever you practice, whatever comes to you, I pray your heart is full and positive and I know you guys are strong. So whatever you're going through, I know you can get through it. But I hope you know that in my heart, I'm with you guys 100%. Um, so hang in there. We'll get through to the new year. 
just have a great season, guys. Um, just know that love is the season. It, it, it has nothing to do with whether you're Jewish or uh, Christian or or into crystals and, and sage and whatever. Just know love is what this season is all about. And love is a positive thing no matter what. So I love you guys. I pray the most love comes to you this year, in the upcoming year, this season, just always. So just know my heart's with you. If you miss, here's your blessing and your Christmas wish. Um, but, and I wish I could say I, I pray for peace on earth. I do, but realistically, I pray for each one of you that you have peace in your own little world. Okay, so have a great one. I will see you next week. Thanks for watching.